Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 9. In the last episode, we set up this section of our Beyond base, um, which is to automate Prosperity Bee Spawn Eggs, which is um, quite the process. Uh, essentially, it bottles down to making Prosperity Bees in here, courtesy of Crystalline Bees and Prosperity um, Blocks. Then we crush them in here, then we collect them in this guy, process it, and store them in here. And as you can see at the bottom, we have a bunch of Diurnal, um, Endurance, Weather Tolerance, Temper, and Productivity, which is awesome. So we'll spread those a little bit. Um, and then as a result of that, we get Prosperity Bee Spawn Eggs. Now, currently we have four. Um, we've increased the production. Originally, it was just these five um, little bee chambers here, but obviously we've added all of these. They're hooked up. They're just waiting on Sunflower. So we're not actually getting the benefits of this setup pretty much at all. There's a few that have enough sunflowers, but not many. Um, and we'll solve that very quickly. To attempt to solve that, we had this guy set up. Originally it was dirt. I just, we had some insane in farmland, so I swapped it out. But listen, yeah, there's no point in even doing this. Um, so yeah, here's where we're at. Another thing I did just to mention is I blacklisted Inferium Essence because this guy was filled up um, with inferior essence and stopped the machine from working. So that was horrible. Um, and this guy, I've lowered him to 10. So like half a second. Um, and that seems to be working pretty well. Whereas before, for whatever reason, it filled up. So I'm quite happy with that. We've actually got a lot of productivity, which is great. We will be using pretty much all of it. Cool. So how do we solve the sunflower? You may be wondering. Awfully simple. Disgustingly simple. You guys are going to hate it. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think of where we want to do this. Um, so we've got a modular router on us. Oh, which was mentioned to chuck that guy in here. And that's a great idea as well as we need, we need to turn some things off because we've got a lot in our dank that, uh, I mean, we don't need, and it's kind of just clogging up the system. So I believe over in, not this direction. Oh no. Yes. This direction. Oh God. There we go. That's a little bit better. We've got this stuff here and inside here, we're maintaining certain things. Now the control rods. We don't need any of that stuff. We're not making reactors anytime soon. The glass can all go away. Honestly, the vector plates can too. If we need them, we can add them back. That They were meant to be a temporary thing. Um, I will keep all of this in here, I think. Although we can use Universal most of the time, I still like keeping them separate. I don't know. It's, it's, it's somewhat nice. Fluid pipes from Create, I'm going to get rid of. Cables will keep. Um, all of these tubes, I think, is okay. Um, we've got item collectors that are meant to go there, but I don't think we have the recipes set up or maybe we do. Who knows? Um, and then of course we want to place the modular routers that I've vanished or did I place them in here? I placed them in here. So let's grab this. Let's chuck that there. Um, let's up it to a stack. And so now within here, we should get a stack of modular routers, um, kept in there. Cool. Awesome. Um, we could have also like the speed upgrades and stuff in there. Mm, I think it's fine. If anything, I would spend the time to make a setup that will place down a modular router, place in the speed upgrades within it, and then pick it up because I'm pretty sure they keep the upgrades when, when you break them. Um, so that's an option in the future. We might do that, but for now I'm happy with what we've done. So how do we, how do we set this machine up? You may be wondering. Well, I'm glad you asked. We'll jump back into construction. We should be able to just middle click on modular routers now. Yeah, awesome. That's going to save us so much time. Um, and we'll just set it up here because I think it'll be really easy. We're going to place the router here. We're going to get an exporter um, with a crafting card. We're going to place it here. Chuck in bone meal, crafting upgrade. Um, yeah, it should be fine. That'll keep it full. This guy will get speed upgrades, of course. We are going to not place a botany pot. We're just going to place, um, what should we call him? Dirt. We're going to place our sunflower on it. We will get an activator and Bob will be your uncle. In the front, right click, bada bing, bada boom. As you can see, sunflower galore. All we need now is an item collector um, and then a dimensional chest. And I mean, as you can see already, Ridiculous how good this thing is. Let's lower it. Doesn't need to be too big at all. And that guy should be picking up all of the sunflower. And ridiculously better than anything we have already set up. And we should be able to see these guys. As you can see, it's getting one. And it's getting 
Is he still running? He is still running. Okay. <laughs> He's got his second one. That's good, right? That means that all of these have gotten one, and then this guy's gotten another. So that's pretty good. So these guys will hopefully fill up quite soon. These guys look like they're on their way to being filled up. Now these, once they get a stack in that left slot, as soon as it gets one in the right side, it will start uh, processing. So as you'll see in a second here, it's at 64. The next one it gets, it jumps down to 63 and it starts processing. So they should all pretty much be guaranteed to get there at this point. If we really wanted to, we could probably just set up another one over here, but like that, that should be pretty good. <laughs> I don't see this needing it, to be honest. I don't know if placing a second activator does double that. Um... But I, I don't think it necessarily matters. I, I, I think we're fine. I, I genuinely do think that um, that will take care of everything. Hopefully. <laughs> I, I, I want to trust it, but I also want to see it. Seeing is believing. You know what I mean? Like some of these still only have like 30 in them. Those are the ones I'm kind of worried about. Um, I could just like really overkill it just to sort of make sure. Um, or I suppose I could just add on to it. Because as you can see, it doesn't really care that it's already receiving bone meal. Me right clicking is just adding to the fuel. Uh, let's go bone meal. Let's grab a couple stacks out. I will just spam right click here. <laughs> you can just hold right click, but it, it does look as though spamming it does, you know, do it faster. Um, and realistically, how many times would I have to do this? I wouldn't have to do this that much. Because most of them were like half a stack, meaning one full stack of bone meal I go through is almost two of those completed. That's on top of the uh, modular radar itself helping me out here. We should be fine. <laughs> it should be good. I'll, I don't even know if I'll go through all the stuff in my inventory, but I don't know. I'll do this for a little bit. Um, so then this episode, what do we do? Well, I need to set up a machine that will take the um, very high productivity and apply it to the insanium bees that we have. That is uh, going to be the next step in this process. I think we'll do it on this side. Like I think I'll just add on there, set up a thing or maybe on the back or something. Um, since this is apparently going to be like our farming world at this point, hopefully gonna get a bunch of resources. It's like what, one or two of these that I've gone through. How are we looking? See, see what I mean? Like that's pretty good. This guy's almost set up. That guy's set up. Yeah, they're all pretty much running. Um, which means, for one, the machine's going to be doing something productive during the episode, which is what I kind of wanted. Uh, and for two, we can now go and do something, now that it's up and running, check back in later and see if these guys at the, at the back all have more than a snack. See, like, this guy, he's sort of teetering, you know what I mean? But I, I think he'll, I think he'll be fine. Um, cool. That also means this stuff doesn't really need to exist. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to pick it up, chuck them back into the system. That'll, that'll be great for another day. Um, and then we can probably build something over here. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that to some degree. We're also, there's inferior essence that drops. It's only a little bit, but I don't know if I want to just get rid of it. Um, I can just place this with an item collector and whitelist um, inferior. That should mean that we don't have to worry about it picking up anything else. It should be fine, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, inside this guy, what, what, what about inside this guy? Cause inside this guy, we're pulling the prosperity stuff somehow. <laughs> are we pulling it over here? Yeah, we are. Yeah, cool. So we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to grab out our very high productivity. We are going to set up a new crafter. Ah, uh, do I want to, or do we just hijack this guy? Currently, he's taking out anything and chucking it in here. So what I could do is I could also have a spot for very high produ uh, productivity gene samples. And then I could make it whitelisted. So for example, if we take this out, chuck this in, shift click that. Now it's whitelisted to go there. Cool. If I were to send it out another way, for example here. We'll test it out. We'll see if there's enough room for everything. Come on. Boom. Open this. Chuck this. We want this to whitelist. Mm, maybe more specifically blacklist 
that. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to invert it. Cool. So it's blacklisted. Um, both of which maintain their tags. That's important. I'm going to add this gene sample in here. It does create it, which is kind of good. Now we do want to make sure that we set this up. So we'll add this. This one is going to be inverted. We don't want our very high productivity going in there. And then this one, we are going to add it and it will just be the whitelist. We want the very high productivity honey treat to go out this side. Um, it didn't let me store what I wanted to there, which is a little bit of an annoyance. I'm going to break this. We're going to collect this, collect that. And we're also going to add the very high productivity into this thing. So it's going to make it a little bit of a mess. I'm going to place that there. I'm going to remember. I'm going to place a honey treat. I'm going to remember. Cool. So everything's remembering. <laughs> I'm going to chuck in the honey treat. We're going to reconnect the, the connection. Cool. And then on this one, I'm going to shift click in very high productivity with 100%. And as you can see, they will all go in here and they'll go out when they're needed to. Now, when did they need it to? Well, <laughs> um, I kind of need it to be just like that. The only concern is um, positioning of everything. So I'm actually going to bring this up and across because I don't want that catcher to accidentally catch it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, so we'll jump down here. We, of course, don't have any stone bricks, which is wonderful. It's exactly what you want to see. Right, boom, 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 boom. Um, and what do we want to do? <laughs> um, hmm. we want, what do we have over here? We just have a dispenser to place it, a catcher and a modular router to right click. Brilliant. Um, so we'll grab the modular router. The modular router is going to right click. The dispenser is going to dispense the B. The catcher is going to catch the bee. This guy will go there. Um, what did I do on this one? Did I just surround it in glass? Yeah. I gave it a little bit of a goofy uh, setup, but no, we don't have glass on demand. Okay. Um, let's do the wall boards again. Can we do that? They worked pretty well um, wherever else I have them set up. Let's do that. And a flamed floor, a framed floorboard. So now we can place that there, that there. And I'd love to place this one on top, which I think worked beautiful. So then these can become glass and now it's a little bit more low profile than what we've got over there. So already we are making improvements. Um, the honey treats show up here, which is not where we want them. So let's go ahead and rewire this. We would like the honey treats. Is it highlighted orange? Is everything? Oh, my, must just because it's like nighttime. I was like, everything's got an orange trim around it. So, by the way, these are Silda's Vibrant Shaders. They were just, they give me a nice sky in this dimension, whereas um, Complementary doesn't and some of the other ones. I don't know. It's it's fine. This guy should get the stuff. So, this guy will get this stuff. Awesome. We will get an activator module. This guy's going to activate the front. He's going to right-click Entity. Yeah, right-click Entity, nearest entity in range. Awesome. Um, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. We're going to do round robin. The concern I have now is that it's going to do this to multiple. Oh, this is actually going to be really difficult. I think how difficult will this be? What we're trying to do here is one B goes out. One thing gets activated. Then the B gets picked up. I think we can do it. I'll just need to tell this guy, Hey, you work when you get redstone. This guy already works when he gets redstone. We will then get redstone. <laughs> We're going to place the redstone like so. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to connect this here. Boom, boom. Connect this here. Um, I'm going to have the timer connected here. Boom. We're also going to get a repeater, I think. Um... I think I can do a toggle latch and it'll sort of give me the effect of a repeater because it'll only let one out as it's running. So I, th I, th I think this actually works quite nice. I'm, I'm, I'm learning to, to make some progress here. Um, we're going to borrow this lever as well so that we can turn this machine off. So I'm going to 
flick this. I'm going to flick that. I've accidentally farted. I think that's P. No, hold on. Options, controls, keybinds, fart. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and unbound farting. Um, there we go. <laughs> Problem solved instantly. Um, so yeah, this should kind of work. I will want, actually, now that I think about it, a slight delay on this guy, because we want him to run um, after the bees out. So, B released, right click to apply one of the honey treats, B get picked up. Um, the B get picked up side of things, I'm just going to leave it as is. I think that will be pretty straightforward. Um, we will need to bring over the network either from there or I can probably just bring it across here. It's fine. Boom. We will go ex we will go exporter. <laughs> Boom, pow, boom, crafting card, and B, crafting card, cool. So he'll fill up, awesome. I don't think we need speed upgrades. The filter, I think the filter works based on the type of B, not based on the B's traits. So that's why I've sort of gone for the redstone route rather than just what we have over there. Um, I think we're good to go, believe it or not. All we need is for the other stuff to shop. The other stuff being Insanium Bees. So that's going to need this spawn egg. Um, I don't know if the dispensers are going to actually create the bee. This might be another problem that we'll have to uh, tackle, but for now we'll pretend it's fine. Um, this is going to be another exporter here. Boom. I think as well we want this one to be a crafting card because we want it to make the bees. Um, oh, it's actually going to be... No, actually I think it'll be fine. So... Boom. This guy fills up with bees. And how will we not? Well, we'll just know if it works. So for starters, will it dispense an actual bee? It will. Interesting. So that was, that was it triggered once, meaning this guy got triggered. And then allegedly this guy got triggered. Um, hold on. I want him to set to pulse or else he's just going to keep applying it. So it looks like he did apply it. It looks like the bee was picked up. He used multiple. Um, but we now have a very high productivity Insanium bee, which is what we want. So let's leave this go again. Um, yeah. So it's off. It's on. It's off. And so this guy here, I don't know. He's, he's gained a thing, so that's fine. And inside here, we have two bees, one of which does not have what it, what it requires. I'm going to add this delay to be massive. Um, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, I kind of... Hmm, what do I want here? Maybe we do, do just leave it as a pulse. Because I kind of... If I do pulse here, this guy will run when the redstone's turned off. But I don't know if that's too late. Let's break this and just leave redstone and give it a test. All right, it's already, it's too long <laughs> that it goes for, but let's see. Inside here, yeah, as you can see, oh, okay. Yeah, so only that original one that failed, failed. The rest worked. So we actually, I, I think we can just leave it on. Shall we? How, how many more do we have? We've got six more. Let's just do it, let's turn it on. It should also be ordering more of the bees. Yeah, as you can see, it's requesting more and more. And so it's gonna craft more and more. And so as you can see, that's the last of the bees done. He's used quite a few, but I think it's like I think we'll have plenty. That's another one that just showed up. He's gone through two so far. Okay, he got through two. So I probably I definitely could increase this to like 40. That might help a little bit. Yeah, that looks like it'll help. But then in here, the test, very high productivity. Ooh, we had another fail. So two fails so far, but the rest all very high productivity. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, the ones that fail, I'll manually do at the moment because there's no other way to save them, sadly. Um, but as for everything else, hey, pretty, pretty good. So, boom, boom, boom. Let's go boom, 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 boom. Cool, both very high productivity. How cool is that? And so this system should be fully automated. The only problem at the moment is that this guy is requesting one at a time. Although, oh, we do actually have quite a few. So what I can do, I think, 
is I can grab a requester. I can chuck this guy in here and I can tell it, um, hey, why don't you, you know, why don't you order three at a time? And I think it will do that. I might have to click set. <laughs> but I think now, once it finishes ordering whatever it just did order, yeah, look at that. It's requested two more. So that, that's going to be a lot better because our, our actual crafter that crafts the our infusion altars, that's set up to do 100 at a time. So we could, if we if we had the, if the scale up was scaled up, we allegedly could. Now, with that being said, that's assuming the system works. And I will say it does appear to be. It appears to be working because <laughs> we did try to fix it as well. Um... I think this is a massive success. I think we've actually gone ahead and done it. Um, obviously, the only final step here is to maybe monitor this because that's another one that managed to sneak through. So maybe potentially... You know what it is? Because hmm. I think that might have just been another one that snuck through. It wasn't. Hmm. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. Once the B is brought out, this one triggers no matter what. Or at least it should be no matter what. So there shouldn't be a case where a B pops out and this isn't triggered. Um, yeah, we should be good. I think we're fine. If anything, we could add another delay. But even then, if, th if there's one out of, what, every 10 that fails, I, I think that's okay. So uh, what we will have to do is entangle this guy like so. Jump up here. Um... Grab an entangled block out, hit him with one of these, boom. Um, hit him with a pipe. Da, 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 da. Set him, come on, set him to extract and dim chest. And there we go. That's the catcher taken care of. So that guy will maintain empty. The less speed upgrades on the catcher, the better. And then if we search Insanium, we have these, very high, very high, very high, and one normal, very high, very high, very high. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's genuinely pretty good. Um, cool. Now, all of this is false loaded, which is fine. Um, by the way, this episode, I already refreshed the network in the overworld, and I'll show to you as well that it is indeed all false loaded, where the base is, which is right where this is. So I, I don't know why, it, uh, why it's doing that, but... But it is. Anyhow, what next? Oh, yeah, the bees. So, if we zip over yonder to this place. Um, how's it look without? Yeah, it's fine. Um, we should be able to slap them in somewhere. To be fair, I think the other one was still over there. We had some room for it. But we should have room over here, too. What do we have? Yeah, look, we've got a bunch of empty real estate right here. Um, so, for starters... If we go into Omega, we have 33 of them, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, then if we jump into Insanium, I should be able to order, say, three blocks. I think four blocks we might even need. We're burning through, um, well, not burning through, but we're making bees. <laughs> We've got bees happening. Let me clear my inventory. We don't need the Ender Bag anymore. That can go away. That can go away. We don't even, like, need these on us these days. Like, I can just pull them out. If, we re like, if we're like, oh, I need more Warpstone. Realistically, I can just pull it out. It's not it's not a hassle. I mean, it's a bit of a hassle, but, you know, you get the idea. All right, cool. Let's sort our inventory. Let's grab out all of the very high productivity Insanium Bs. We're going to chuck in an Insanium block. And then chuck in four of these productivity upgrades. And then chuck in five of the Bs. And we're going to do that until we are rich. Now, the way that I place these, some of them, as you can see, look at the texture there. It's not lined up like the texture is there. See how the gap's weird? Um, it's because I placed these using like a building gadget or something quite a, quite a little while ago. So when I open it, the inventory looks bugged, but that's it. You can see it reconnects it. So when we open it again the second time, it's fine. So you just sort of have to do that. One of the one of the costs of trying to trying to cut, cut time. Um, but then it should be fine. So it looks a little bit buggy at the start, but realistically, it's okay. Chuck that in. Chuck that in. Cool. Chuck you in. Oh, God. And then one of each. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Any day now. <laughs> this is, like, this is awesome. We've already, I think, more than tripled our entire Insanium production. And we've got some more on their way. In terms of more on their way, 
We genuinely, we can just order a bunch to help this guy out. Um, so if we search Prosperity, we have 17. So if I search Insanium, I should be able to order 17. If we had the stuff, which we don't. Awesome. <laughs> but can I order three? I can. Can I order three more? I cannot. Um, but obviously, you know, we're going to get more Insanium Honeycombs to get more Insanium Essence to get more Insanium Bees. Um, and it should be a beautiful, vicious cycle. And this should solve our Insanium problem. <laughs> um, in terms of this episode, what I should do, most likely, is time in a bottle this guy um, to get that pumping. You know what I mean? To get a bunch showing up. Because... You saw a little bit sharp and it does sort of help you get there, but not nearly enough. Um, how much is it that we need? Three. That takes us to the 30. We need 40 a pop. That is ouchy. Yeah, 40 for one of these. Cool. Um, oh, or do we? It looks like it just ate some. Huh. No, I don't really know. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on what just went down, but... It did indeed go down, whatever it was. Um, cool. Well, um, I mean, I guess we will time and bottle it. I've got plenty of time, realistically. So, let's go ahead and do that. 256 times, as you can see, stacks on stacks flying through. Oh, it is... Or it was? It's going in my inventory. Oh, because I've got, it's, I'm dropping it and it's going in my magnet. Normally, it will fall down and get picked up by this guy, which should still work. Hopefully, hopefully none of that stuff's broken, but we can chuck these in. There you go. That's pretty decent. Um, and as you can see, that will sort of cover us a little bit <laughs> in terms of the Insanium. So that's already two we can order. Let's get that running. I can just sort of watch this a little bit. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> we'll take it. Oh, look at that. Another one. Nope. Another one. Um, so, yeah. Cool. We are currently watching the benefits of... Not really the benefits of our rewards. I guess the benefits of the time in a bottle is what we're technically watching at the moment. But we are watching the investment, okay? <laughs> we're getting there. And hopefully me ordering these one after the other is not becoming a problem. Although I will say, there should be more than this bee here currently. That I I will agree that that is a little bit concerning. Um, But I will go and check it once I finish... <laughs> Once I finish ordering these, 46 it reckons it needs. Inflation, am I right, guys? What the, what's up with that? All right, come on. Get this guy. What, 50? What's happening? I guess we're having to craft more and more of the other stuff? I don't know. Right, 56 looks like what it's want. All right, l l let's go check on the machine here because clearly we've got some fish to fry. That's what I'm gathering from this. So at the bottom, we have not what we want. And that is horrific because that means that everywhere is currently broken. This is what we call nightmare fuel, what we have just seen. So what that guy needs is an Inferium block. Now, if we look at this, we've got one Inferium block surrounded by all this Insanium. Um, so if I grab that and chuck it here... That's that problem solved, but it's not this problem solved. I think I can place that there. And that's that problem solved. Cool. What's this problem? Inferium. Infer Wait, it's probably... Is it all this block? It's going to be all this block. No. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's... Yes, it is. Insanium, Inferium. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Inferium. Prudentium. 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 Yeah, this, this middle row is, I think, scuffed. Beyond repair. <laughs> okay. They haven't gone the full way up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to reset this entire pillar. The annoying thing about the way I built this is you can't easily see what it is. I could make it only do 50 of them, but we can see. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I think that's the play. I think we grab some clear glass, if that's possible. Um, Clear glass. Here we go. I'm going to need a lot more of that. So let's get some connecting glass. Get all of that cooked up. Boom. Let's get some clear glass. This is, I, I think it is a worthy exchange to make. Let's jump in here. Exchanging gadget. Let's place one of these. Select it. 
and then see if we can pull this off somehow. I'll be, I'll be honest, I don't particularly know how to do this or if it will work the way I want it to. So, um, currently it's set to do one. I'm going to do connected area. I'm going to do affect block entities. As you can see now, it's selected the thing. So now if I right click, <laughs> if I stand far enough back and right click, it will indeed change it. Um, I can just do this. We can turn on our magnet. And as long as I stay far enough back, this is an option. Um, what it means is I could do this. I think the cut option would work as well. The only problem with the cut option, like the, or the copy and paste, um, replace blocks, exchanging gadget or building gadget thing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm saying 50 different things at once. I kind of, oh, what have I done? No, that's, that's not what we want. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Is that going to connect fine? Yeah. Okay. Our machine, sh oh, do we have sunflowers? We might not have sunflowers to do this. Hold on. Oh no, we've got plenty. Of we've got phenomenal levels of sunflower. Um, hold on. Okay, it is working. It's, it's getting there. Our clear sky ritual should be clearing the sky. Um, yeah, see, now we can actually like tell what's on what layer. Ugh. All right, I I'll be back. I'm going to have to do this manually. I think it's worth it. What was I saying before though? I was saying the problem with the um, copy paste gadget replacing blocks is that I don't actually want it to replace say um, the middle blocks, the integrated dynamic blocks, because I think that will break everything. Can I just double check that there's no way to, so that will go down. If I do horizontal wall and I do fuzzy, it will only do the stuff. If I remove connected, okay. If I remove connected and I do this, what does it do? Okay, it's selecting that as well. Interesting. Anchor, grow, bind inventory, undo. If I did grid. <laughs> hey, oh, hold on, hold on. I could do grid. What does grid actually do? I think grid does it. Hold on. Let's try it up here. I right click it. What does it actually get rid of? Oh, it's awesome. And then if I right click that one, it doesn't do the other stuff. But hey, hey, hey. <laughs> For a lot of them, that's quite helpful. Um, is this, hold on. Is this the problem, child? Is this what's, because that explains why this row was broken because it got to the top and it couldn't place it there. So it placed it at the bottom and screwed everything up. I think that's that's genuinely what happened. Okay. I'm, I'm relieved that we've found the problem. I'm still going to continue um, replacing every second one, lowering our efficiency by half, which is disastrous, but hopefully increasing our overall efficiency by removing the downtime in the future. Does that make sense? Really? Like, are we making a hundred at a time? We're probably not going to, we probably won't even be able to afford to do a hundred at a time. Um, it's fine. it's fine. And even if we do, we can just make a second one. We'll just copy and paste the entire thing. <laughs> Surely it won't be a problem. I've clicked the wrong thing. Hold on. Let me hit an undo, followed by an undo, followed by an undo. Brilliant. The undo button, I will say, undo button, pretty good for something like this. Oh, I actually, I, oh no. What have I picked up? Okay, I've got signs. I've got a little bit of manual because like I've done this. Okay. That, that's fine. That cool. That could have been so much worse. And then where they hit, I also hit, yeah, I just hit there. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, we hit the tree a bit. We didn't hit this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's, um, let's be a little bit smarter. Let's go with the only, you know, the only space that you need. Um, interesting. So how well did that work? I mean, it worked pretty well. If I do this though, that's not going to help. Is it? Oh, unless, hold on. So I got to get it to hit there, right? So then if I look here, that's also going to replace the fence. But if I look here, it won't replace the fence and it can't replace the other stuff. So look, if I click here, it replaces that one. 
<laughs> is this fine? I think it's fine. Can we pretend it's fine, guys? And then hope that nothing breaks. Thank you. All right, I'll be back um, with this done. Alrighty, I think we picked up all of the stuff, as you can see. I believe we've gotten a bunch of uh, infusion pedestals, which is wonderful. You love to see it. Um, the middle parts, I'm also going to have to break or convert into glass. I've just now realized, which is also wonderful. All right, well, <laughs> I thought I was back, um, but I will henceforth be back. Did I say 100, by the way? I think I did a stack. So I was already lying. We're now going from doing 60... Four at a time to 32. Um, I've, I've realized I've been saying the wrong thing the whole time. I think we did a hundred in different, in all the ones, seven or something. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I realized then as I was going up. Um, on the bright side, we're done. That is it. That is all of them. So now we can see what is meant to be on each floor and we can fix what is meant to be on each floor. For example, we clear all this. That is meant to go there and that will begin. We can now sort of we can either head down very fast. Yeah, it looks like we will. Um, oh, and try to catch it. So we've got orange happening here. And as you can see, there's a pesky little green that showed up. So let's chuck in our orange. That works. This guy needs a green. There we go. That works. Where else are we? We've got a purple. I might actually have to reset the entire thing though, because I don't know if it'll just magically start working again. That's fine. Um, what else do we have? Got another spot that needs an orange. We've got a spot that needs a green. We've got a random orange on the loose. A blue on the loose. A couple oranges on the loose. I have a, I have a feeling I just need to pick everything up and and restart. I'm not, <laughs> not not everything, just just the ingredients. Okay, we can we can run a restart on this. All I have to do is collect everything. All right, so I'm pretty sure I've gotten everything. Um, to fix this now, all we have to do is remove these filters and place them back in. What that lets it do is it reapplies the round robin, um, and it makes our system work again. So we'll grab this, chuck that out, chuck that back in. Cool. Um, now to actually test that that worked and that I didn't miss any, what we can do is I can search dirt seeds as a little buffer, and we can order 32, which should be exactly how many, uh, options we have available. And we can watch that. All of these should start up, which it... Roughly looks like there are. We won't be able to see right at the very top. Um, but we'll be able to tell once it's done. Because obviously the seed will get picked up. And then we'll be able to check if we got all 32. So there we go. It's finishing up now. We can look in here. We've gotten 28. <laughs> We've gotten 28. Um, now you can still see some visually. It's purely a visual bug. There's nothing actually there. Um, but I guess this will help us find where the issue was. Because we should see a bunch of dirt. Or yeah, this. So we'll go through here and pick up some of this stuff. So that's one layer that was broken. We will have to reset again after this with the, um, whatchamacolums, the pipe upgrades. And then this layer appeared to have a few little sneaky guys. I don't really know what was wrong about them, but allegedly they were wrong. So I'll take their word for it. Nothing up here. Here's our next layer. Like this looks fine. I guess maybe... I don't really know. I guess there was no seed in this one. Um, yeah, no, okay, I guess maybe a bunch of seeds were down there when they were meant to be up here. We still haven't... Did we run into anything that makes sense that it was wrong? Or, or was it just one thing that remained that has ruined it for everyone? I'm a little bit concerned that our system's just inherently broken. <laughs> I'm, I'm denying it. <laughs> our system works, okay. But... I don't know, it's it's doing a whole lot of not working at the moment, which is worrying. I might have to go back to the start and mess around with the cabling. Um, that looks fine then. Okay, cool. So, we'll try it one more time. I'll reset all these. Assuming this is working, which I believe it is. To test if it's working, by the way. A little trick up my sleeve. Check this out. Hold on. I can order one, and it should order it at the bottom. Survey says. <laughs> the survey says that it didn't work. Oh. 
there's actually two prosperity seeds that showed up at the bottom here and none of the ingredients. What? What's actually happening? Why is that happening to me? What? Okay. Everything is broken. I take back everything I said. It's, it's, it's a complete disaster. <laughs> um, all right. I am concerned now. Okay. I mean, I'm glad we put the glass in so that I can sort of see where the issues are happening, but it's not really giving me the um, satisfaction of solving this problem. <laughs> All right, one, two seeds at the bottom. Three, four seeds. I swear we checked those. I didn't order four. I ordered one. Okay. Let's jump in this guy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cancel the dirt seeds. Okay. Let's go ahead and once again, remove these. This time I'll remove it properly and place it back. Remove it in my inventory, place it back. I didn't actually leave the grid. So let's do that. Pretend that does something. Same here, remove that. Pretend it does something, cool. Okay. Now we've got 28. I would like 32. That should bring it up to 60 total. Let's have a look. Survey says that it has begun, which is, you'll always love to see at least that much. Oh God, come on, come on. Once we get this up and running, we should be good. So it's done. We currently have 55. Okay. So, let me, let me explain how this is meant to happen. And as I'm explaining it, I guess we might see the problem. So for starters, this guy extracts only the essences on this side. They're all whitelisted. The rest are inverted blacklisted. So the essences, they go through on a round robin, meaning they go to the first inventory and then so on. If I go ahead and shrink myself, I might be able to have a look through under here. So as you can see, the first chest is this guy here. There he is. So he'll place one in there and then this guy will also do a round robin upwards. Then if we go over here, the second chest is this guy here. It will also do a round robin upwards. So that's the second chest. Third chest is here. Round robin going upwards. Um, and then the fourth and last chest is here. So four ingredients on one side, all set in a round robin. So one, two, three, four. And all of them will do one, two, three, four, etc., all the way up to 32. Awesome. You love to see it. Um, oh, you know what could be the problem that I'm just now realizing? Ah, it shouldn't be the problem for 30. The problem that it could be is that this guy takes a while to empty and then this guy gets stuff in before. No, but that shouldn't matter because they're all at the same rate. Either way, this side confirmed correct. The left side should be pretty similar. It is round robin. All that is allowed into this side, these are blacklists, so these are not allowed. It's just whatever's inverted. The essences are not allowed, they're blacklisted. What is allowed, no, they're, they're still blacklisted, sorry. What is allowed are these blocks. So Insanium blocks, all of these type of blocks are allowed. They're inverted from the blacklist. So the first go into this chest, like so. Um, and if we consult here, it's a round robin going up. So first chest, this is the second chest, round robin going up. It's not connected here. We go along, third chest. There it is. It is round robin going up. I might have to reset those. That, that actually might be the problem. And then fourth chest here, and we'll go double check that. So hold on. One, two, three, fourth chest. And as you can see, round robin. I think that's what we have to do. We have to reset all of these. Take this out, put it back in. I don't think you need to um, close the inventory just for just for sake of watching what I'm doing here. Boom. Boom. Hold on. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll just I'll, I'll just keep doing it until I'm pretty sure I've got them all. It's um it's that one again. That one over there I just just can't quite see. So. Um, 
It's fine. So it's this one right out here. Take that out, put that in. Um, and then finally as well, it is the bottom one, which is the one we already reset. It'll go, it just goes through round robin as it is. Cool. So they're all reset this time. Um, I will still have to go up here and collect my um, seeds and stuff. As you can see, two, three, four, five, five seeds on the loose. That means we're going to have quite a bit of um, the other stuff laying around, the dirt and essence. Five seeds worth. Ugh. All right, here we go. To be fair, they are all seemingly on their right level. So I think I could just place the seed there. You know what I mean? And it would finish. Um, but I've only got two more floors to go. So we'll just we'll just start from scratch. I, <laughs> this is one of those things where sometimes it'll work in the short term. And then once it's once you've been using it for a while, if you didn't make it perfectly, it will let you know. It'll be like, um, I don't work. <laughs> and then you just be like, huh? Yeah, he, uh, he doesn't work. And then it's yeah, it's 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 a problem. <laughs> there shouldn't be any seed. Like if if I've left a single thing on here, the machine breaks most of the time. Okay, cool. Let's uh let's do one more test run. So, currently we have 55 seeds. I'm going to craft five. It should start at the bottom and craft five up. Um, this is fine. How many was that? Nine. Didn't I already have five? What is that? All right, let's make sure that we've gotten all the seeds out of here. I, I didn't like that at all. I don't know if you guys saw. What is this? Who's... It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It just clearly... It just doesn't work. It wasn't meant to be. That is horrible. Why is the dirt all the way up there now? It's bottom floor. Like, these are all identical. All identical. And then there's just no dirt here. When, obviously... Well, I mean, obviously, there's meant to be dirt. I... Guys, I swear, <laughs> I swear it's trolling me. Oh, what am I even doing? I'm meant to be clicking here. Okay. Two, three, four. One, two, three. It's not even enough essence. How strange that it just decides to break like that. Okay, cool. So is there more? Oh, <sighs> okay. Um... This is kind of fine. No, it's not. It's, it's ruined. <laughs> it's ruined. All right. Let's go ahead. Take this out. Put that in. Put five in there. Do they start at the bottom? No. It remit. Where does it actually put it? It's put Okay. I know what to do. I, I, I know what to do. Place one in. Okay. Let's find where that one went. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Once we find... Okay, that one's here. I need to place in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 more. And then we're back down to square one. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I'm a genius, aren't I? So, we can put in all 10. They will not go where they're meant to. They'll be up here. One... Place another one in. So this one should be right at the top. As you can see, it is awesome. What we can do now is we can place in one, two, three, four, five needed to craft those. And as you can see, it works. I, oh God, I'm so mad. <laughs> cool. So the next one I place will end up right there, which is awesome. It's wonderful. What we're going to do though, is I'm going to clear a little bit of my inventory. I'm going to place in one. And I'm going to place in four of each of these. And we're going to sort of see where it goes. So I'm going to place one in. We're going to place this and this. And as you can see, the four dirt goes where it should. The four inferium. I'm oh, sorry. The three inferium goes where it shouldn't. Um... Well, no, actually, the three inferiums where it should be, the rest is not. Okay, cool. So, you, you're, you're catching on now. 
if I put four more dirt, that dirt is now where it should be. That's in line with the um, infusion altar. Awesome. So I can now pick up this. Oh, and that, that one's down below as well. So I need to place one more Inferium in here, like so. And that Inferium is now, <laughs> is now in line, I think, or is it further up? Because one of the Inferiums went further up. No, I'm, no, I don't really know. Yeah, one Inferium's up here. And that guy's obviously meant to be down below. I'm going to place a second Inferium. Because <laughs> I think we need to go up a level. So there should be two Inferiums on this floor. Yep, one, two. And we need three and four, I believe. Three, four. Let's have a look. We've almost done it. One, two, three... Ah, it's finished crafting down there, so it's it's completed that floor. But I don't think that adds up. We've got one, two, three. So I need one more Inferium to get to the right floor. <laughs> this episode is uh, pushing me. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to have to go take a toilet break mid-episode. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Why? Why? All right. Um, I'll be back. I'll be back. I, I need a... I'll be back. Alright, so I placed in the other three. I placed in the fourth one, which is meant to go here. And it has gone up there. So I... I'm beyond mind blown. I think what I need to do is I need to place them in the individual chest at the bottom. So I've... I... I'm beyond furious. <laughs> I'm fast and I'm furious at the moment, but I think this is solvable. So we are trying to get up to this level. So I need to place one, two into each of the other ones, except maybe three in this last one. That makes sense. So we're going to place um, three in here. We're going to place two in here. We're going to place two in here. What that should allow us to have is one, two, three, and four. Perfect. We can now grab these bits here as they no longer need to be there. We can double check. Yep, that's where it should be. That's where it should be. That's where it should be. Nothing else is there. Awesome. As for the rest of the stuff, um, we'll place in the four dirt and we'll see where that takes us and then we'll scale it up um, as well. As, uh, we won't place the prosperity seeds in just yet. We'll, we'll double check that in a second. So... Um, the dirt is down here, all in the same level, as you can see. One, two, three, four. Awesome. They need to go one, two, three up. So I'm going to place um, three stacks into each of these. And that should be good. As in a stack of three in here. A stack of three in here. <laughs> a stack of three in here. And a stack. Of once again, once this is in sync... It should be fine. We'll do a few tests and everything should be fine. So this is here now. Yep. And it lines up perfectly. None of them go above. Wonderful. So I should be able to pick up the rest of this. I'm a little bit confused as to why nothing's showing up there. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. And it's, I won't lie when I say it's a little bit scary <laughs> as for what that the implications are. If I go all the way up. There's no... Okay, there's dirt up here. There's dirt up here, as well as... <sighs> interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very intriguing. Quite mysterious, what we're witnessing. I don't know what this means. <laughs> I, I don't... I don't know what to make of that. But it's... We're going to pretend it's fine. All of these are on the same level. I am now going to place some prosperity seeds. We'll place one to see where we're at. <laughs> I have zero faith in any of this. So the one that we place is here. It needs to go one, two, three. So we need to place three in here. And that will be it lined up. And it should craft the thing. We place three in here. And the top one should begin crafting, which it looks like it has. Only one is there. The second one, I think goes all the way to the ceiling for some reason. That's what we've been noticing. So if we head all the way up here, 
Yeah, there he is. I don't know why, but he's up there. Cool. <laughs> so, to run this through again, if I order a single dirt seed, currently we've got 62, and we wait, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just watch this and have faith that 63 shows up. And if it doesn't, we, we might, there's a chance that we just start crying. Alternatively, we just place all the pipes again. It hasn't crafted it yet. It normally doesn't take that long. Um, so that's incredibly annoying. If we head up, as you can see, the four dirt is here. And one essence is one below. <laughs> that should be as simple as that in order to fix it. And I do see particles. Okay. We'll, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Uh, are you guys with me? Do we feel like we're... <laughs> I'm... Uh, uh, you know? Uh, okay. 63. We order one more. We order one more. And it shows up here and it crafts. It shows up here and it crafts. How cool is that? Cool. You love to see it. Everyone loves to see it. Why wouldn't you love to see it? It's perfect. Okay. We now have 64. I am going to order. Um, how many am I going to order? I'm going to order. <laughs> I'm going to order six more. Right? So that should fill up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what you like to see. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to order the full 32. That way we're at an even number. We're at 70. And we should end up with 102. And this should be the entire system running one full cycle. That looks promising. It started there and it caught up to here. We should have 102. Here they come. One. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start fighting people. I'm going to start actively injuring people. <laughs> what is this, man? It's 97. Because it just gets here and it just starts trolling. And I don't actually even know why. It looks... It looks fine. It's just the... The middle bits, the prosperity seeds, didn't feel like prosperity seeding where they're meant to be prosperity seeding. And the whole bingo bango has fingo failed. Let's go on to the bottom. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Um, this guy here, is there any way? No, he's on. He's about as fast as he can get. <sighs> I I don't even know what to tell him. I why why would that happen? Why would they do that to me? After all we've been through. Um, let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna place this here. I listen. I apologize for this being the episode, but apparently it just is what it is. So if I take that out, where does that leave us? These dirt ones have done. You tell me there's no other dirt ones. That was it. We now have a hundred. We now have 102. Cool. So here's what we can do. If there is indeed something wrong with the round robining, we can break off this one here from every single one of them, including the middle. So we just break off the part, the part above the extractor because now they're not connected to any, right? Now there's no round robin. There's no second thing in queue. Two, two things may happen. One is, when I place this here, now it's reset the entire thing. That's possible. We can pretend that's the case. I can place these down, and we can give it an attempt. The other option is that... Um, and hold on. What have we missed? We've missed this guy. Did I really break all of them? No. Uh, I don't know. Um, so, that might work. It might work. Um, if that didn't work, what we'll do is we'll just dig up every single pipe and place them again with a building gadget from the bottom to the top. And then we'll know for sure that it's placed it in the correct order. Um, so we have the 102. I'm going to order eight. Once again, just to get us to a nice little even number. Will that even work? I, I guess that answers the question of if it was going to work because it just didn't. That's great. Do you guys, <laughs> hey, hey guys, did you see what I just did? 
I saw what I just did. Some of these had um, Prospera bee spawn eggs still in them. Yeah, some of them had Prosperity bee spawn eggs, which explains why the seeds were going further up. We just couldn't see them in there. We can see the seeds, but we couldn't see the bees. So I'm now right clicking on each of these. You can see it in the tooltip at the top, but you can't visually see it, or, or at least I couldn't. Um, so that that's fine for now. <laughs> oh my God, that was the problem. That was the problem. All right, this is fixable. This is genuinely fixable. Okay. So that should get us to 110. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, Now, what I can do to reset this, or at least here's my idea, right? I'm going to order 32. No, I'm going to order 33, right? Hear me out. It will fill up everything on the outside perfectly as it has been, and it will fill it up entirely, right? It will fill up the middle completely because that's how it works. It won't fill it up in order. For example, let's say the bottom fills up with the essences, sure. And then this one gets the prosperity seed. That's fine because we're doing 32. So eventually one will show up here and the entire thing will begin crafting. But then we do 33, right? So that extra one, when one of these recipes starts, whether it's the first one that we put in or whether this one starts crafting first, it will finish first. Meaning in theory, it will accept the stuff first. Does that make sense? Meaning everything... Like the, that extra, that 33rd seed should all fill in to whatever that gap is. And then from that point onwards, the round robin should continue as per normal. That is my idea. Let's give it a test run. So I'll place this in. As you'll see, they, they showed up before these showed up. It's crafting. We should end up with 143 when this is done. <laughs> so it's done... 140, uh, <laughs> hmm, <laughs> what's, uh, what's that, what's that about? What's, what's that about? Are you joking? <laughs> Alright, apparently I'm just wrong. <laughs> apparently this episode is just embarrass hour. Embarrass o'clock. Nothing else is showing up, right? It's not accidentally trying to put in Prospera bees in amongst all these. Because the, the other stuff shouldn't be crafting. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. I'll... Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> That's one of those. This episode started off so strong. <laughs> and then we just instantly hit a roadblock. So, when they're all done, do we have 144? I don't think we're going to. 143, sorry. Let's see. 43. Perfect. Cool. Um, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We will restart everything. We're just going to do what we did before. But this time it actually is empty because we got all the bees out. Oh, that's so embarrassing. So then um, let's go through here and just pretend that this is doing something. <laughs> hey, listen, you guys have given me too much confidence to do this stuff on camera. Claiming that you guys actively enjoy it. So this is your fault that you have to watch this troubleshooting process. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, this whole time I'm thinking like, how can I, what's my, le what's my lesson? Like, what can I give to you guys where I'm like, Hey, if this happens to you, this is, this should be your, your turn of event. My, my first tip is tr like quadruple check that it's empty, <laughs> that it's completely empty. Cause as you saw, that was a problem. I probably could have fixed that by putting in like a stack of cobble, you know what I mean? To go through this part here, because then it'll place the cobble on there. But let's say I put on a half a stack of cobble and it only uses up 28. We know there's still some gaps. So that, that would that would have been my first um, tip. If you're going to do this again, <laughs> knowing what I know now, um, run through something like cobble. You'll have to go through and manually grab the stuff out, but you'll be able to find, you'll know for sure that it's empty. Alternatively, you can just right click on every single one and you'll, I guess, know for sure there. Um, but this, 
Now this should be good. Let's test. If I order one, will it start at the bottom? See, why is it not starting at the bottom? <laughs> like, come on, man. Start at the bottom. I've reset you. I've done what I thought was what I thought worked. Okay, everything's perfect now except for the middle part. Do I just do I just run a reset on the middle again? Do I do what I did before? Where I just build it up? Because that's got a long way to go. That that's like 30 I've got it. Uh, I'll we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do listen, listen everyone, it's fine. Everything's fine. Spirit Everything's fine. You guys need to relax. I've got this. I've got this. Let's grab 24. Let's chuck in 24. So they're going to go through. Cool. We're going to obviously go through and pick them up. And this will hopefully get us closer to where all the dirt is. <laughs> See, like... Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it went from the top to the bottom. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So... Here we go. Here we go. So I've, I've already messed up, but that's fine. We'll put one seed through. We'll figure out where it went. As you can see, that's got to go up quite a few blocks. Cool. <laughs> this would have worked before. Um, had I have known that there was bees in there. So here we go. So that's there. So we've got to go one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go five up and then everything works. Okay. That's it. Final offer. Final offer. We go five up. So we go five up. One, two, three, four. And the fifth is working. <laughs> I'm done. All right. Listen, it's going to work. We do dirt seeds. We have 144. We order one. And check this out. Perfect. Perfect. It works perfect. It works perfect. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. I don't know why you guys are so concerned about this problem. That gives us 145. I'm going to order five more. To get us on a nice even number. You know, a nice um, rounded number, I should be saying. As you can see, they're working. Per okay. <laughs> oh, see, now these episodes are fine, I think. As long as none of you guys realized what I should be doing at the start. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, if one of you guys were like, you should probably just... um, Like, there's probably bees in there. If one of you guys knew there were still bees in there. Oh, this was, this was a painful episode for you. <laughs> I feel for you. I... My condolences. <laughs> All right. Let's get 32. So 32. That should take us to what? Uh, 182. 182 we should get. What is that? I mean, we already know it's not going to work. What? What have I done to deserve such pain? Such misery? How strange. I swear. You know what? I, I think we just have to admit defeat. I I can't fathom. I can't fathom why it's not working. Because this thing was allegedly... Like, it's skipping or some. There's nothing in here. There is nothing in here. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. These connections shouldn't matter. It's only going based off the item pipes. I'm genuinely, I'm very confused by that. Um, because we've done this in the past, and although we had some troubles starting up, I I've done all the fixes that we did in the past, and those fixes worked, and yet here we are. Um, so strange to me. Because we're doing round robin, we're not even doing like nearest first, you know what I mean? Which, in hindsight, maybe I have to do nearest first. The, the whole point of round robin was it shouldn't have mattered, because it would have just wait for the next one man you know what it's like it's like the bottom one is on nearest first you know what I mean like it's just acting so strange but that bottom one I believe it goes directly over here right let's double check because if I'm wrong about that then this whole episode could have been averted a second time okay so that's there that shouldn't be there so it comes under here it dodges that pipe and it goes here and then it just goes up and that's it how odd. How odd indeed. Um, yeah, here's the deal. If we change all of them to nearest first, let's try it. Let's get let's give that a, a test run. Because then the nearest will always be the nearest, I guess. <laughs> I, I might as well, hey, I, I should change with random. It's pretty much what it feels like anyway. 
Alright. Um, we'll give this a test run. I, I'd like to apologize <laughs> to everyone watching. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. No, I'd, I'd like to apologize to the, to the ones that don't enjoy this. <laughs> and to everyone else, you're welcome. Okay. Bloody good episode, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. This guy can be nearest first because he's connecting directly to the altars. The rest of these still do need to be round robin because they're separating into each chest. Okay, cool. Uh, we ended up with 182. Splendid. We're going to bring that up to... We'll just go to an even number. So that should work. That should work and that should be fine. That should work. Okay. Hold on. Why are there Prudentian blocks? None of these should have started up again. Did I accidentally... Oh, I accidentally put some into the system, didn't I? Oh, I'm, I'm about to erupt into a fire, into a flaming dragon. I'm about to... I'm about to breathe fire upon this earth. That is phenomenal, what they have done to me. How they've massacred my creation. We, this is... Ins this is genuine... This is... A, this is a, it's insane. I'm going insane. Um... I'm losing my mind. <laughs> okay. Let's place these. Right. There we go. Cool. They're going to finish. Awesome. I now need to look through the sides. Which, by the way, I could not see those prudentiums and stuff. So that's that's already a, a wonderful start to this adventure that we're about to go on ourselves. Prudentium block is here. Like, does that mean that there's... Bees? Are there bees in these that I can't see? The bees' knees? Are the bees' knees in the bees' altars with the knees? With the bees? No, it doesn't look like it. What happened to the bees? <laughs> Alright, cool. Cool. So let's go up. Okay, the pretendium block is here, and I cannot see it. Why can I not see it? Is it seriously... Can you not see it in clear glass? No, because we saw it before. So there's just pretendium. Hold on. F3A. That didn't even solve it either. Toggle off our shaders? That doesn't solve it either. What is this mystery? <laughs> All right, this is fine. So there's Prudentium, Inferium, Inferium, Inferium. It's just, it's genuinely a massacre of my creation. I'll, I'll be back. Okay. I think we're good now. <laughs> Have you guys heard that before? <laughs> I think we're good now. I'm pretty confident we're good now. Um, let's go ahead. And make the first um, B here, which is going to be this, right? It's going to be one of these, that, and that, which should craft at the bottom. Cool. <sighs> All right. I'm pretty, guys, I'm pretty sure we're fine. I'm pretty sure I can just pretend we're fine and I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put all of this away, right? This and that. Cool. So a, se a second one hasn't even attempted to start, which is awesome. We're going to jump in here. We're going to click cancel all. So now it has ordered a new one. And as you can see, it's ordered three. They've shown up. And as you can see already, it is broken because it has placed them up in the wrong order. Because I guess they don't extract fast enough or something. But like already, this is why you don't do nearest first. It just, it doesn't work. That can go there. That can go there, and that can go there, but it's just going to be the same problem. Which we should see in a second. I think it's because it doesn't extract the finished good fast enough. Maybe? Or is it... Is it... I think it's this guy. I think he's... I don't know, the ingredients must just be coming in in the wrong order. I think I need him to be... Um, I, I, I can, We can fix this. We can, we can fix this part at the moment. It's, it's, a, it's sort of a different issue, but it's fixable. Um, this guy here? No. One of these guys. There's a guy here somewhere. This guy. We need to tell him... Uh, Redstone Pulse inserts next set. And that's that. We can change it so that these are bigger sets. But we're going to have to set it up like this. It, it's the only way. <laughs> it's the only way. Um, we're going to need a comparator... Um, yeah, this is, this is, I mean, it's, it's a disaster. 
It's a horrific and absolutely atrocious disaster. So that will go there. If there's stuff in the chest, it will emit redstone. We go, um, we go repeater, like so. We then go alloy. We get some red alloy wire. We go like this. <laughs> we, we go this way. We, um, you know, <laughs> you guys know. We, um, we go this way, right? We, um, <laughs> of course, we do this, and it goes this way. We grab a couple of these to go here, 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 and here. And we do one of these. There we go. <laughs> that's, uh, obviously, that's, that's what you do. That's what you do in this situation. Um, is it clear that I've lost all manner of reasoning? Um, the next step is to set these up to order multiple at a time. Which I just, I don't want to do this episode. So let's just see if... <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's fine. The The good thing about it being nearest first is all the stuff's right here. You know what I mean? So it's not a, it's not that bad. It's, it's actually pretty nice. You can just place that there. Oh. Oh, no, not even that worked. Because somehow this... What? What have I done to this? <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. You go there. So that one starts. Where'd the rest of my red go? Oh, the red's there and the red's at the bottom. Cool. That's that's brilliant. That's really, that's wonderful. <laughs> Grab you. You jump in down here. And that becomes you. Splendid. Okay, so. This blue guy should turn into a red guy, which will then turn into a purple guy. Let's check this recipe. If the pulse inserts next set works. Ah, look at that. That's the next set that I'm seeing right there. And then when that's done, it should actually put in the next one as well. So it should be fine. It should work. It's now infinitely slower and it might as well not have the rest of these available. That, that, that's just where we're at at the moment. Um, possibly. Let's go ahead and cancel all. So it orders again. So here we go. One recipe comes in. A second recipe comes in. A third recipe comes in. Hold on. Hold on. First recipe finishes. Its replacement comes in. That one comes in. All right, it's working. It's allegedly working. It's also doing three at a time. I I don't. I you know what you know what it is. I think the pulse is working, and it's working just enough. It's not waiting until the product's finished because it's detecting its own input chest. So once it puts items in here, it gets the redstone. Once the items are out, it's like, oh, next set can come in. It doesn't even care about whether it's done crafting and it shouldn't need to. This should also work for everything. I don't actually have to change the recipes. I don't have to uh, update them. This works. This should work. <laughs> this, this should work. I should also be able to search like dirt seeds, for example. We've got 200. I should be able to order 32 if I want. Let's order 32, see what happens. As you can see, one shows up here. And as you can see, it doesn't actually start working because it doesn't work. Everything's broken. I hate everything. <laughs> but the point is that that it should have worked. And that's what that's what's so exciting here. Is is the fact that not only didn't it work, but it should have. Um that's that's great. <laughs> You're gonna go there. Cool. Okay, so that starts up. I don't really know what to what to to make of this. I th <sighs> Let's just cancel everything. I'll tell you what. The Insanium stuff, I don't need dirt seeds at the moment. We'll cross the seeds like. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, title might in involve this. And the pain involved. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully you've had fun watching. Um, thank you, of course, to our donators and our channel members. Thank you to our tier three channel members, Melizzi uh, and Final Phoenix Thirteen. Thank you guys. Um, if you have any tips, let me know. Um, I have a feeling with fresh eyes, I'll be able to fix this. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm mainly just annoyed because I'm. I'm pretty confident what we had set up before was exactly what I had set up in the previous, like in, in Old One Seven. And 
I'm pretty sure it worked consistently. My my guess with the issue at the moment, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't actually know. The issue with the nearest first should only come down to the items coming in at once. And I think, I think it's fine as long as we don't, yeah, you know, I don't actually know. I might have to remove the auto crafting like for, for these bees. Cause I think if I put two orders in at once, it's getting a little bit baffled or something. I, I don't know. Cause like as, this is working, which is awesome. So it begs the trillion dollar question. Why, when I ordered dirt seeds, did half of them go there? And you know what I mean? A little bit odd. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Au revoir.